Hello everyone and I welcome you all in this learning video where we are going to study the conditional distribution. But before that, I would like to make one remark that this conditional distribution that we are going to discuss in this learning video needs some of the terminologies that we have already discussed in the joint distribution. So those who are very new to this uh, topic, they can just go through the uh, at least the basic definitions uh, that we have discussed in the uh, joint distribution and then you can continue with this topic okay so the link of those video lectures has been given in the description so you can see from there okay so let us see what is this conditional distribution is so conditional distribution as you know in the distribution again we will be having two random variables so we are going to define first for the discrete random variable and then the conditional distribution for continuous random variable okay so if x and y are two discrete random variables we denote it by drv with joint probability function f of x y then condition probability function of y given x is given by this where you know what is this f of x y this is joint distribution joint sorry joint probability function this is marginal probability function and this is what the conditional probability function of y given x. Uh, we have already seen such kind of notation when we have discussed about the conditional probability. So you can also go through the definition of conditional probability. Okay. Now, just like uh, we define the conditional probability function of y given x on the very similar lines, you can also we can also define the conditional probability function conditional probability function of x given y and it is given by conditional probability function of x given y is f of x y upon f2 of y what is this f2 of y f2 of y is the marginal probability function of y and we know how to find out this uh, marginal uh, probability function in the discrete random variable just drawing that uh, joint probability table and then we have found out these things okay now this is just the definition of uh, conditional probability function of y given x and x given y for the discrete random variable okay now the same definition can also be defined for the continuous random variable so i would like you to pause the video for a minute and try to write the definition of conditional probability function for the continuous random variable so just pause the video for a minute and then write down the definition do the necessary changes over here and then come back with the uh, and resume the video and uh, see the definitions so I hope you might have made the necessary changes so now let us uh, take these random variable as instead of discrete now it would be it would be continuous it would be continuous random variable and we write it as CRV with instead of now joint probability function what type of probability function will be having will be having joint yes correct joint density function and then the conditional conditional density function conditional density function of y given x is defined as f of y given x is f of x y upon f1 of x now what is this f1 of x this f1 of x is nothing but the marginal what is it marginal density function of x likewise you can define the conditional density function of conditional density function of what x given y conditional density function of x given y and it is given by f of x given y is f of x y upon f2 of y now what would be this f2 of y here it would be the marginal 
वॉट इज इट मार्जिनल डेंसिटी फंक्शन ऑफ पाए मार्जिनल डेंसिटी फंक्शन ऑफ वाई ओके सो आई होप द डेफिनेशन इज क्लियर टू यू एंड इट इज जस्ट लाइक बाय वन गेट वन ऑफर यू राइट दी यू नो द डेफिनेशन फॉर डिस्क्रीट रेंडम वेरिएबल एंड डू दी सम माइन्यूट चेंजेस टू डिफाइन द डेफिनेशन ऑफ कंटिन्यूस रैंडम वेरिएबल सो आई होप दिस लर्निंग वीडियो इज मेकिंग सेंस and before you go for the examples on discrete random variable and continuous random variable for the conditional distribution i would like you to remember these things very nicely in addition to that in addition to that you should also remember the terminologies that we have discussed in the joint distribution okay so thank you for watching this learning video and happy learning thank you